Well, a team from the state of Maryland comes to Virginia to play some high school football in Portsmouth. It's the Norcom Greyhounds welcoming the C.H. Flowers Jaguars on a Friday night as Norcom looks to move to 2-0 on the season. Chris, they beat Lakeland in the opener rather handily. Can they go to 2-0 with this one? Yeah, this will be a nice win for the Eastern District Norcom Greyhounds. And early on, it's going to be the Jaguars taking the opening kickoff and finding some success as that is Anderson up to midfield. And a great start for the visitors from Maryland. And we'll hear Edward Anderson's name quite a bit during this highlight. And you see right there, it's... Maurice Wright with the two-point conversion for the Jaguars as they take the early 8-0 lead with 8.07 to go in the first quarter. Greyhounds not to be deterred. They look to go through the air to get their offense, and this time their quarterback, Jalen Spruill, is going to find a wide receiver who picks up great yardage, and Norcom is in business down to the 22-yard line. Coach Larry Archie and company really like their receiving core with Quamel Sessoms, Josh Elliott, and Darius Brown and company, and their running game's pretty darn good, too, as you see the quarterback, Jalen Spruill, the transfer from Churchland, getting it done as a dual threat. Now 8-7 to seven in favor of C.H. Flowers as Norcom's closing in, and then you got Anderson back on the kick return. He's a threat. And fortunately, he's not going to find nearly as much running room as he did in his first attempt, and this time he has taken off his feet rather rudely, and a great defensive play by the Greyhounds gets them excited and sets up their offense in motion. I believe that was Brian Cavaconte on that hit, and there is one of those wide receivers on the tunnel screen. It is Kwame Sessons going 59 yards to the house as the Greyhounds go in front, 13-8 early in the second period. Always nice when your quarterback to throw a two-yard pass and get a 58-yard touchdown out of it as Spruill again goes through the air and again finds success as some nice moves down the field inside the 10-yard line and Norcom is in business. Josh Elliott juking and jiving, setting up the running game with Cavaconte for the short touchdown run. Cheerleaders and Norcom fans loving it. 19 to 8 in favor of Norcom midway through the second quarter, but back comes CH Flowers. Yeah, they're going to look to find some of the success of their own through the air. Unfortunately, that Norcom defense is surrounding, and a great job there it leads to another chance on offense and another touchdown for the Greyhounds, as that's Charles Wiggs finding Pater. What a game he had fresh off that 200 yard performance against Lakeman, one of the top running backs in the Hampton Roads area. The extra point will be up and through the uprights by Zakar White. And Norcom now pulling away 26-8 late in the second quarter. The visitors from Maryland try to find some success, and it's going to be Edward Anderson again, and this time he takes another big hit. And he's tired of getting hit. He's going to want to make a play of his own, and he's going to have a chance right here as he picks off this pass by Sproul down the left sideline, cuts it back upfield, looking to inflict a little punishment of his own as he gets the Jaguars back into a chance to make this a game again. Call him Steady Eddie, and the Jaguars now going to close the gap here as it's going to be a big strike. No, it's an interception as they thought they were right back in this thing. The pick there for Norcom's Antoine Edwards, giving the home team something to cheer about. Sproul will give them even more to cheer about as he again goes over the middle, finds his target, gets some nice downfield blocking, and skips into the end zone for the easy touchdown for Norcom as they are now pulling away up by 25 over CH Flowers. That's Robert Farmer, 59 yards for the Galloping Greyhounds, but here come the Jaguars on the run there. As you see, it's Jose Holloway making something happen on the edge. And Matt, this team looks like it has some very athletic skill players, maybe just a quarterback away from being a real contender. And this time Holloway again finds some running room down the sideline, and that'll set up this easy touchdown run over the middle. And the Flower or CH Flowers is only down by a couple scores, but Norcom's going to put this one away. Norcom will put it on ice, and you give it to Mr. Wiggs. He will get it done as he scampers 88 yards to pay dirt for Norcom as they will pull away, get that cushion that Larry Archie and company need as he has been a factor in two games with over 400 yards on the ground this season. One to watch out for in Hampton Roads for sure. The fans loving it. And Norcom comes away victorious over C.H. Flowers by a count of 47 to 28. You see Wiggs with 219 yards, three touchdowns. Jalen Spruill had three touchdowns total while Holloway led the way with 101 yards rushing and two touchdowns for the Jaguars.